everyone and welcome to a training video on Pinkaching. In this training video we're going to cover the account creation tool, our newest feature also known as ACT. Before we get into that, I would highly suggest you head on over to Domain Face. You can actually see we have a little advertisement there. We have uh, integrated Domain Face inside Pinkaching. So for everyone who has a Domain Face account, you're going to get more functionality inside Pinkaching. To set up a Domain Face account, you click Settings, go to Domain Face, um, and then enter your login and password over at Domain Face and click Get the API key. If you don't have a Domain Face, just click the link right here and uh, sign up over there. I highly recommend Domain Face. It's probably one of the easiest ways and cheapest ways you can pull ahead of your competition in a new market. Uh, I plan on doing some training videos on the advantages of aged domains in the future. But for the rest of this video, let's talk about the account creation tool. Click the plugins drop down and go to account creation tool. Now on this very first page, this page has a lot of power. And it's meant for people who are starting up new niches, new products, or new softwares. Let's say I was starting to put together an info product, and I was wondering what I should name this info product. So I was thinking about a few names, and I came up with a name called uh, Bubble Rockstars. Okay, don't, don't make fun of it. It's the best I can do, uh, short notice. And you enter in the name. You can enter in search variations, so uh, the Bubble Rockstars or Bubble Rockstars 2 or, or anything you want the software to search for. I'm just going to leave it at this. And then click Check Results. Now, this has a lot of power and it's going to save you a lot of time. Look at this. Rather than me having to go to GoDaddy uh, and enter in Bubble Rockstars, boom, it lets me know right inside the software uh, if the domains are available. Then, furthermore, if you have a interface with domain face, you can click the age domain tab and you would get a list of aged domains related to Bubble Rockstars. Um, surprise, surprise, there's nothing related to Bubble Rockstars uh, <laughs> age domain wise. Um, next, you can go to media and you can see here that Bubble Rockstars on YouTube is available and on Twitter and on uh, Facebook. Uh, it's only taken on Flickr. So, this is extremely powerful. Normally, I would have to go and search GoDaddy. Then I might search for aged domains. Then I would go to YouTube itself and Twitter and Facebook and see if this name is available. But just with this simple tool, you're able to see all these things in one location. You even can see the search results. So you can see that Google has an autocorrect here, which might be a good indicator that Bubble Rockstars could be a bad name for a product. So, once you have decided upon a name for uh, your new product, it's time to use the tool and take it to the next level to create all the accounts for that product. So, we just move right on over to select websites over here. And then you would create a uh, new profile. Just think of profiles as like a folder holding all your accounts. Uh, for this example, normally you would hit add new, but I already actually created one called Bubble Rockstar. And um, then it's just as simple as selecting which sites you want the software to create accounts on. For this example, I'm just going to use Dig. A quick note here, though, some of these sites like Squidoo and, and uh, Xanga and, and so on aren't actually supported by Ping Kaching. We don't submit to those sites as of yet. But that doesn't stop us from helping create accounts at these popular sites you would use. So... Don't worry about, well, where, where in the software can I post to Xanga? Don't worry about that. We're just creating the account for you so you can use that and submit your articles to that personally, rather than having to go to all these sites on your own. Once you've created, uh, once you've selected the sites you want to create profiles at, you just go to the Profile Information tab, uh, enter in some uh, information here, and there we go. Then go to bio. Sometimes bio isn't necessary. The more sites you select, the more bio information re we require. Uh, and then just go to create profiles. Now what this is going to do is it's a semi-automated process. 
we didn't want to become a spam tool where we agreed to terms and conditions and things without giving you the option to see these settings. So we take you straight to the page, the sign up page. We fill in the information. You can see the emails entered, uh, the usernames entered, the passwords entered. All that you have to do is enter in the CAPTCHA and click create account. And once you create that account, the software will automatically just take you right to the next site. So uh, within a few, like a minute, you can create 15 accounts. It goes extremely fast. This is going to save you a massive amount of time. Once you've entered in all of your accounts um, and you go to manage projects and you create a new project. So you're going to create a project for Bubble Rockstars now. Uh, Bubble Rockstars. And you plan on uh, now promoting your new website through Pink Ching. Well, when you're creating your project, look right here, we added a new feature. This is where you can select which profile of accounts to submit to. So obviously I'd select Bubble Rockstars. This is going to contain all those accounts that we just created. Now with Pingaching, we also added in this version the ability to have multiple profiles for each site. So you can see here, I have a lot of different niches. Uh, bike seats, Pingaching, handbags, my personal website, all sorts of different sites. And each site could use its own profile of accounts. So each site can use its own Facebook, its own Twitter, and so on. Very, very powerful update. Uh, last note, I just want to say that uh, the account creation tool is in beta. This is the first version. So we're going to be adding a whole bunch more sites to the media. The tool itself is going to be able to create accounts at uh, a ton more sites. The whole thing is growing, and we appreciate your feedback. So just leave some comments of, of things that uh, you would like us to add to the account creation tool. Thank you very much for your time.